Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Yeezy Prince here. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about proper uh, data hygiene. Specifically, what happens when you delete a file and how do you know and what can you do to ensure that once it is deleted, it's gone for good. You don't have to worry about if your data falling into the wrong hands. So for a little bit of context here, uh, my computer crashed about a month ago and in the process of getting it up and running again with Windows, as you can see here, um, I realized that one of my drives was showing bad sectors, which is pretty much a telltale sign that that drive is going to fail soon. It just so happened that that one drive uh, was a drive that I've used for almost a decade now. So essentially, almost my entire digital footprint for a decade was in the process of imminently failing. So I picked up a new hard drive and I just wanted to share with you guys kind of like what, what I do uh, to switch over my data and how do I make sure that that data is not accessible once I delete it. And also a, a little computer science lesson as well in case you, you weren't familiar. So what actually happens when you delete a file? So the way that your operating system works uh, is typically all your files have the data of the file and they also have what's called an index or a pointer file. And when you delete that file, when you move it into the recycle bin, you don't actually end up deleting that file. Now what happens is your operating system will delete the pointer, it will delete the breadcrumb pieces, if you will, to map that your computer uses to find that file on your hard drive. So what happens is when you delete that file, the map is gone, but the data is still there. So this is really uh, trivial for companies like Cellbrite, it's really trivial for countless data recovery services to recover your data once it's deleted because technically that data is still on your drive it's just not readily accessible at the moment so what do you what do you have to do i mean what happens when you get a new hard drive and you're switching all your data over from one to the other how do you make sure that that information is truly gone that no one's going to be able to access it well, this is what, what I did and, and I hope that it, it helps you out too. So the first thing that I did when I got my new hard drive is I installed a program called TerraCopy. And with TerraCopy, I was able to transfer all 2.5 terabytes, yes, terabytes, not gigabytes, worth of my digital footprint um, over to my new drive in a one-to-one -one copy. Uh, TerraCopy is great in that it's faster than the Windows tool and it also has a checksum feature which means that when I tell the computer to actually move that data over it's truly there. Now you may have heard of a program called BleachBit before thanks to a certain presidential candidate uh, but in short what BleachBit does is it not only deletes the files that are on the drive but it also overwrites the data that was left behind when your operating system deleted that, that pointer file. So instead of just deleting the breadcrumbs and, and marking that space as free space uh, BleachBit overwrites the old data completely, so it no longer exists as it once did on the drive before. So I've copied all the data uh, off of this drive. I have ran BleachBit on there, um, and effectively this drive is useless now. It's failing, and it's done. Now normally, uh, if you didn't, you know, if you haven't watched this video before, your first instinct would be to toss the, this drive in the, in the garbage, right? Uh, you might be able to, to get away with that, right? But what happens if you don't have a device that can use BleachBit? You know, what happens if you have a phone, like an iPhone or an Android? Or what happens if you have something else that you need to make sure that your data is gone off of completely and you can't run BleachBit for whatever reason? So a lot of people have their own ways that they like to do it, right? Like I said, a lot of people like to use a drill bit uh, to perforate holes inside of the drive. Uh, some people will throw their drive into a shredder, right? I always found those a little anticlimactic. And considering, you know, I really enjoy 3D printing firearms, I, I wanted to use something that was a little more uh, kinetic, I guess you could say, to uh, destroy the drive. So what we have here, uh, this is a AR-10 308 battle rifle. 
I have a 20 inch barrel from Palmetto State Armory. I 3D printed this lower receiver, as you see here. Uh, this is by Not Spooky Guns, right? Uh, I think this will do a fantastic job in ensuring that that drive is no longer able to function ever again. All right, so I haven't actually zeroed this rifle yet. Uh, so hopefully I'm able to hit something. But let's try it out. All right, well, I knocked my target over. I uh, just had to set it back up. Turns out duct tape isn't the best solution. Uh, that's okay, we persevered. One more time. All right, so let's take a look at the damage here. So it turns out they don't make a dedicated hard drive stand. Shocker, right? I know. So I had to duct tape it, or I should say packing tape it to this piece of cardboard here, which turned out to hold it pretty well, but it did fall over the spot on every shot. So it's... now looking at the front here, definitely looks like there's some damage. It doesn't look too bad. But once we come back here, oh, oh, oh man. As you can see, I only managed to hit it about nine times here. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up to not having a zeroed rifle because naturally I am a perfect shot. Now, if I look at the back here, this is where the substantially more damage is, right? So if I was a better shot, I would have placed more of those rounds right where the discs are. That's where the data is actually stored, but it's pretty sufficiently destroyed here. I mean, you're not, there's not going to be any data coming off of this one for a long time. I mean, look at that. All right. Well, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. Uh, I think we sufficiently destroyed this drive here. Uh, I don't think we're getting any data off here anytime soon. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. That definitely helps out the algorithm and tells me what you like so that way I can keep making videos like this. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Yeezy underscore Prince, and I will see you next time. Thanks.